Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sudoku. Today we're going to be looking at 8 Dots of Fice by Clover. Uh, white dots indicate that two digits differ by one, so like 1, 2, 3, or 4, 5, 6 could work there. Black dots include two digits in a ratio of 1 to 2, like 1, 2, 4 would work here, 3, 6 wouldn't work because then the 3 would have to repeat. And uh, I think this middle piece has to be a 2. Because if it was a 1, then it would force a 2 there and there. And not all possible dots are marked, so there's no negative uh, rule. Now, whether this is a 1 or a 4, I think it must be a 2 connecting. So if, if this is a 1, then it would go 1, 2, 3. If this is a 4, then it would go 4, 3, 2. Oh, so that's actually a 2, 3 pair. Nice. So now this can't contain a 2, so it must be 3, 6. Wait, no. Right, it could go four, five, six, okay. This is either one, two, three, four, three, two, or four, five, six. That's every possibility, yeah. And we've got a one, four pair in here. So we got three, five, six on the outskirts. This can't be a 2, but I think, yeah, it could be, um, it has a choice to make. It could either be a 2 here and then another 1, 4 there, or it could be 3, 6. But this one is limited, because it could be 2 going into a 1 or a 4. Or it could be 3, 6 in any order. Hmm. What else? Gonna be right back here. All right, I'm back. Let's look at this again. Okay, so this is either a one or a four, but it's possible that this would be a two and that would be a one or a four, and the three six pair is still possible. Actually, is it? Let's take a look at this. This is a three six pair. Then this couldn't be a 4, right? Because 4 would need to be 4, 3, 2, 1. Or 4, 5, 6. And it's using up 3 and 6. If this is 1, it would be 1, 2, 3. This cannot be a... A 3, 6 pair, therefore. So that is a 2. I had the hiccups. That's a 2 as well. Now these can no longer contain 2s. So I can't go 1, 2, 3. Could... No, it can't... Yeah, it can't go 1, 2, 3, so this can't be a 1. This is the 4 then. And this is the 1. And I can't go 4, 3, 2. So it's got to go 4, 5, 6, and that's a 3 to finish off the row. Uh, 
Uh, so now this has to be a 2. Because it can't be a 3 6 pair. Now this is a 2. All the 2s are done? Yeah. Nice. This can't be a 5 or 6. Right, so that's a 3, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. 5, 6 pair now. This has to be a 1 to finish that off. Sorts out that 1, 4 pair. It also makes this a 1, 4 pair, interestingly. Leaving 3 unexplained. And this is a 5 to finish off the row. So this is a 2, so this must be a 3 6 pair then. And this must be 3 6 as well. 4 5 6 up here. This 3 is looking at the 3 6 pair, which sorts out the rest of that. There is a plane flying over my house. One in this box is now solvable, which finishes up all the ones. And it looks like this will solve 5 and 6 looking into this box. I mean, five and four. Gosh, so bad. Makes that a four or five pair. Now this has to be a three, I think. Which does sort out the rest of this. This four is looking into here, which finishes off the last bit, and it should be finished. So, not too bad of a puzzle here. Pretty interesting. All the dots were very important. I liked how um, this 2 was available right from the get-go, and then you had to work out how this connected with this. The fact that it couldn't be a 3-6 pair, because... Yeah, if it's a 3-6 pair, there's no way to do that which forces the rest of it. And then the two here forcing the three six down there. It all, it all connected really nicely. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and check out the rest of my Sudoku videos. They are in a playlist on my channel you can find. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.